How are you feeling? I don't want you to get too down on yourself. Sometimes people just don't click. What are you talking about? I mean, let's be honest. You haven't gotten as over with the fans as we'd like you to be. You must have been feeling the disconnect. I wasn't feeling it, but I am now. Don't worry about it, though. Some people have long, fulfilling mid-card careers. And we probably won't release you. But if you ever want to be considered in the title picture, I'm going to need you to really dig into the team's ideas. Troy, the ideas you've brought me are dumb. They're clearly not helping me connect with the fans. They're not dumb. You just haven't committed enough. I want to see you try to try harder. Try to try harder? That's your advice? Are you serious? That and to wear the new gear I had designed for you. Trust me, a new look will change everything. Troy, I told you when you pitched it to me before, I'm not wearing that gear. <sighs> What's the problem? They used to call you the captain in TBD, right? I've heard that name around here too. And Regal won't be happy if you don't wear the gear. You're telling me Regal wants me to wear that? Sure! Troy? Well, he may not know the details, but he wants me to help you. So, like it or not, I've been deputized. When you're ready to enthusiastically try this, I've got a match for you against Shayna Baszler. No way am I doing this. You'll come around. They always do. Come talk to me again when you're ready to play ball. In my captain. I don't like it. But fine. Sure. Please let the record reflect my enthusiasm. You'll see once you're in it. The fans will love it. I'll set up your match with Shayna. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's going to be a five-minute time limit match. Just a little cramped for time tonight. I'm sure you understand. You're kidding me. I am not. Have fun out there! The captain is sporting a real look right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. The Warrior Prince! Tap, nap, or snap. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler! With her form, with her new, well, let's just call it attitude. The captain better keep her sails tight and bearing dead ahead, or else she'll run into the iceberg that is Shayna Baszler. Well, new costume or not, I think Cap will bring the same level of intensity we've come to expect from her. And she dodged that one nicely. Oh, saw it coming. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Oh, man. Ooh! Good night. Good grief. What impact! Springboard! Oh, the top rope! What a springboard crossbody! Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Oh, a strong impact! Oh, and she turns it around. Ah, oh, she's trying, trying to create space. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Oh, springboard! Shooting star press! High risk and it paid off. Oh my god, springboard moonsault! Wow! Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. She's starting to drag a little bit. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Technique on display against Baszler. Holy cow! What outrageous athleticism! Pop up Hurricane Rana. 
Baszler needs to head this attack off of the pass. Tough night so far for Shayna Baszler. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Face gouge. Oh, God. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Dislocate your jaw. Well scouted by Baszler. Caught with that sharp elbow. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. This superstar delivers the rolling cutter and not done yet. Make it a second time. And how about... Yes, they do. Looking for the victory. Two. Got it. No, just a two. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Sunset flip applied. Not done there. Looking for the head scissors. Crucifix submit. And in Victory. Here is your winner, the Warrior Princess, Nicole. Shayna Baszler, no doubt, reeling from this loss. Baszler ticked off now, and that only means she's going to come back meaner. Should I ask? Do you have to? Should I call you Skipper? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. And with me. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here to drown your sorrows in the small pond that is TBD. <sighs> is it that Troy guy again? Yep. And. I can't even get a word in with Regal to talk about my concerns. I get he's busy, but come on. Huh. It's not like you to have trouble getting people to pay attention to you. What's the issue? I'm doing everything right, but I can't seem to catch a solid break. I don't want to just be on the roster. I want to climb to the top. So you came home to complain at me. It is kind of our thing. True story. At least whenever there used to be issues on the road or here in TBD, we'd put our heads together and figure it out. I can stand on my own, but it's a lot more fun to tread through the muck with you. Well, are you having any at least? Any what? Fun. I feel stuck. Caught between all the various opinions and instructions about what I should be doing. I just want to get out there and, and do what I do best. But you're the one who told me to take advantage of this opportunity. I told you to say yes to the adventure, not to overthink it. Honestly, I think you're holding back a little. Remember your debut? You didn't care about what anyone thought. You just went out there, and the WWE Universe loved every unfiltered second of it. You have great instincts, but you're trying too hard to toe the line. It's throwing you off. So you think I need to try to try less hard? You know what they say about trying to please everyone. Everyone will love me, and I'll be wildly successful? All I'm saying... The captain I know would trust her instincts and speak up if something didn't feel right for her, regardless of the consequences. He certainly would have with me. Whether it was in the ring, or on a boat, 
Geneva, I'm leaving. Fine, fine, I'll leave you be. Hit me up if you need anything. I think I got what I needed. I'll give doing what they want another chance, but I'll make sure to say my piece too. Thank you. Bringing indie cred and attitude to the WWE ring. It's Cap! The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making her way to the ring from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. The Warrior Princess! One of the greatest women to ever step in the ring, Natalia. And from Calgary, World on fire as of late. Maybe if she can fish out a victory from Natalia. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Able to get the advantage here. Reversals and more reversals. She's starting to look concerned. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Placed in the corner. Oh, another oh, one for good measure. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. There's going to be some second guessing about trying that move again. Jumping clothesline! What agility! Natalia knows exactly what she's doing, and it is not good for her opponent. And she had Natalia's number there. Taking this one back to the ring now. Oh, off the rope. She's taking a beating here. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. From way up, diving double axe handle. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. And Natalia dodges there. From behind, German suplex. Nine. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Going up high with the punch. That is a power-packed punch. Oh, <laughs> rapid. Uh-oh. She did her homework there. Oh! Natalia looks like she's down and out. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Ooh, she just turned it around. the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Natalia caught off guard. Oh my gosh! Natalia wasn't ready. Now it could be over. Two count. And then the captain has sunk the boat's battleship with some. Oh, not again. Is this really how you see me? 
You know what? I've done everything they've asked of me. I've done everything you all have asked of me. Wearing dumb gear, playing nice with appearances, taking bad advice from WWE veterans. And you know what I've realized? No one knows my potential better than me. I am not just a spoke on this wheel. And I am not gonna wait until I'm at rock bottom to take control of my future. This is my story. And I'm taking it back! Are we still on? What do you think you're doing? If you think you can just do whatever you want without any consequences... I... <laughs> that felt really good! It was certainly unexpected. I don't recall a promo being planned for this evening. I already told her. Shut up, Troy. I don't recall a promo being planned. Haven't seen that sort of fire from you since your debut. I'm not apologizing for what I said. I don't recall anyone asking you to. But if you have more comfortable places to be than WWE, I'd be happy to release you from your contract. That's how it's gonna be. Yes, there have to be consequences for- Shut, Shut up, up Troy. Troy. But I have to ask, why did you sign with WWE in the first place? Sir? Did you sign here to be comfortable? I didn't sign here to dog and pony show dumb creative decisions or feel like I should be thankful for every scrap. You're a talented wrestler, but you can do that anywhere. If you came to WWE to be a superstar, to do what you can only do somewhere with the reach of WWE. To not just do the work, but to live the fantasy. I'm going to give you the greatest gift I can offer. <laughs> Best of luck in her future endeavors. Shut, Shut up, up Troy. Troy. Freedom. Get uncomfortable. Take big swings. Not just in the ring, but out of it. You want to be a WWE superstar? I think you might just have it inside you. Just promise me three things, and I'll have your back every step of the way. What's that? Put your whole heart into it, and don't be afraid to fail. It'll hold you back if you only attempt what you know you can do. Do those things, and I'll make sure your spot here is safe. Whatever happens. So, what do you think? I'm intrigued. And I'm in. Brilliant. But that was only two things. What's the third? Oh, right you are. Promise me you'll never wear that ridiculous outfit. That I never approved ever again. That won't be a problem. You've got yourself a deal.